Hi, I'll be doing some um, programming tutorials for the uh, for my dice bot, um, for the programmer mode. It's just this uh, this tutorial is just going to be an overview of the variables and the functions that are available. And um, yeah, I'll write a basic uh, Martingale script for you to base off of. So right now you can see I'm logged into Prime Dice with an account with a 0.001 Bitcoin balance. It's a brand new account, so no boats, no profit, nothing. Um, you can see here is the available variables box. It has quite a few options in it. And then if you scroll down a bit, it's the methods functions that are built in. And then you'll see a few buttons here this button will take you to my site with the details page for the programmer mode. Um, this one will open a script document or a text document or whatever that you've saved that has a script in it and what will simply load it into this box. And the save button will save the script currently here to a file that you choose. Okay, so the available variables. Um, these are, this is the name this balance is the name, then um, double is the type and RO means read only. So this is next bit, it's a double and it is read write. So that means you can read the current value as well as set the next value. The read only, you can only read the value. While Lua will allow you to assign a new value to this variable, the bot will not save the new variable. It'll just discard whatever you do to it, whatever you give. Okay, so first off is the balance variable. This shows the balance currently in here. Oh, also um, the console is where you give commands to the bot. For example, start or stop. So you have to set next bit, next bit before you can start bidding, but that's not a problem. So you can use print. This will show whatever my balance is there. When will is the um, whether your previous bid won or lost? It will be uh, no. It will not be assigned at this moment. Profit is uh, your total profit. It will, or so, sorry, profit is your session profit. So since you open the bot and placed bets, that's what your profit will be. Current profit is the profit of the current bet. Current streak is um, how many wins or losses you've made in a row. Uh, previous bet is the amount of your previous bet. You'll see me using it soon. Bets is the total number of bets. Wins is the total number of wins. Losses is the total number of losses. Losses plus wins will always equal bets. Uh, next bet is what you set um, to what you tell the bot to for the next bet to be. Sorry, that's a bit confusing. Chance is the chance of the next bet. Bet high is whether it will roll over the, the chance or under it. Uh, last bet is a bet object of the previous bet that you've made and it contains information such as the roll number, the seed, um, if it's available, uh, those kind of inf that kind of information. Currencies in, is an array of the currencies available to bet at the current site. Prime Dice will only have Bitcoin. Currency is the current currency you're betting in. This allows you to change currencies while betting. Enable RSC is a Boolean, and this allows you to set, to enable the built-in stop and reset conditions or to disable them. And enable ZZ allows you to enable the built-in zigzag conditions or disable them. Okay, the, the methods and functions, withdraw, so the functions, the first one is the name, then in brackets, it's the name or a description of the parameter and then what data type it is. And then the second uh, parameter with the name and what type it is. So this one takes withdraw 
and as a double or a decimal number, the amount to withdraw, and as a string or a normal uh, text input, the Bitcoin address to withdraw to. Uh, same for invest, it's just the amount. Tip is the username or user ID to tip to. This depends on the site that you're using, but it's always a string, so it has to be has to have apostrophes around it. And then the amount of to tip. Uh, stop is just a normal stop. Reset st seed will reset the uh, your random seed at the server if it's allowed. Print is what I use here to print a valuable to the console, a value to the console. Uh, get history and get history by date and by query. Query is the SQLite database um, and returns an array of bed objects that allows you to look at the previous bets and their roll numbers, their profits, the amounts, etc. The Martinga, Labashir, Fibonacci, the Allenbert and preset list functions allow you to call the built in functions in the bot as they are set up in your advanced mode. Reset stats resets your stats. Uh, set that, well, it's the stats in the bot, not your global site stats. Set value allows you to change values in the advanced mode. Um, based on the name as they are in the saved file, in your settings file, and then a value that you pass. So some settings will be int, for example, the maximum number of losses in a row. String will be something like your address. Double will be like the bet amount. Um, Boolean will be enable or disable something. And get value returns the value of an object that you pass through. So you can get the values back from the advanced mode to check what they are now. Low strategy, um, basically reads in a saved file and sets in sets the bot to use that saved file as it is. And then read opens a box, opens a input box for the user to enter some information into the prompt is what you would do well, what you want from the user so you can give them a message and the type is in um, what object do you want to return a boolean an int a double or a string so let's make a quick martingale bot um, basically okay this is the code box um, this is where you define or what where you tell the bot what to do so it requires a do bit function uh, you declare the function with function and then just do bit with brackets beyond empty brackets behind it and then you end the function so first off we just want to set next bit equals previous bit times two so this will now whenever a user places a bet the next bet will be whatever the last one was times two so it will always times two so now we want to check make sure it only multiplies on a loss so if not win then next bet equals previous bet times two else next bit equals 0 0.0000001 end and that should work let's see okay to start the bot just type start with brackets behind it it's a function that you have to call now it's going to complain that you have to set next bit first so this will be your starting bit so just in the console type with whatever you mount, amount you want it to be and then type start again. Now you'll see the bets going through here and they seem to be working correctly. On a loss it multiplies and after the first win it resets to default. To stop the bot just type just call the stop method. 
Okay, in the next tutorial, I'll, I'll do some more advanced programming and use some more of the built-in functions and um, variables.